Today, I'll be showing you how to go into free cam or cinematic mode in your games. All you need to do is either go into Roblox Studio and play test your game, which can be found through the Home tab, or you can go to the page of the game on the website and click the play button. Once you're inside of the game and your character is loaded, hold the left shift button on the keyboard along with the letter P. And once you've done this, you will now be put into this cinematic free cam. Now in order to move around, you have to use the W, A, S, and D keys. I do not believe the arrow keys work as I've tried it and it doesn't do anything. You can use Q to go down and E to go up, or alternatively, you can use the Y and I keys on the keyboard. And along with this, you can change the FOV or the field of view of the camera by zooming in or zooming out. Now this is only supposed to work if you are either the owner of the game or have access to editing the game. So just keep that in mind that not everyone should be able to use this in your game. And to get out of free cam mode, you can just hold left shift and P again and it will turn it off. If you would like to disable this in your game, here's how it can be done. In order to ensure that it is fully disabled, even though only people who can edit the game along with yourself are able to use this free cam, we're going to write some very quick scripts that I will also put as a model with written instructions in the description below inside of the important link section. The only thing that is allowing us to free cam, if we go over here into the workspace, we open up my player, Inside of my player GUI, I have this thing called free cam. And now since we can't just manually go into every single player each time they respawn and get rid of it like that, let's write up a couple of scripts in order to do this automatically. So to start, hover over the replicated storage, click the plus button and add a remote event inside of it and rename it to free cam. Now I'll explain where this comes in. Uh, within the next script that we write or within the first script that we write. So now click on the plus button over the server script service and add a script inside and you can get rid of the text in here and get started. So to start, I'm going to reference the players service, which is where every single player who joins the game will be listed in. So in this service right here below the workspace. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to have a function run every single time that someone joins the game so that this free cam functionality isn't able to be used at any point. So what this is doing is this is saying whenever we say players, it's going to mean the service players, which is over here in the Explorer. And here, whenever a player is added to the player's service, it's going to connect it to a function. And inside of here, this is a parameter. It's PLYR. You can change it to whatever you would like. And what this is going to do, since this function was run when someone joined the game, this player is going to be whoever joined. So if I join, this is going to be me. And then now what I'm going to do is say player dot character added, and I'm going to connect it to another function. And what this is going to do is it's going to wait until, or maybe not wait, but once I load into the game, once my player loads in, it's going to run this function. And then this function will only run whenever the player's character gets added into the game. And when the player's character is in the game, you can see it and it's inside of the workspace and it is not inside of the player's folder. So now if we go back into here, we can move on to another line. I'm just going to label this really quick. Ends the player added function. And this one ends the character added function. And along with this, we're going to need to reference this free cam remote event that we put into the replicated storage so that we can use that to communicate with the player's client. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say local server store, not server storage, sorry, local replicated storage is equal to game get service replicated storage. And then under this one, I'm going to say local free cam is equal to replicated storage colon wait for child free cam. And what this is going to do is it's going to make free cam equal to waiting for something inside of the replicated storage that is called free cam. So now if you change this to something else, you want to make sure you at least change this portion of it inside of the script or else the script is going to keep on looking for this. And then when it realizes it can't find it, it's going to break the rest of the script. So now what I'm going to do in this part is I'm going to say free cam colon fire client. And I'm going to put in parentheses PLYR. And now what this is going to do is basically whenever someone joins, it's going to run a function. Whenever their character loads, it's going to run another function. 
And then after that, it is going to fire the remote event or activate it. And it's going to almost send it to the player's client. And now what we're going to do is we are going to create a local script that will be listening to see when this uh, remote event is activated so that it can do something else. So in order to do this, we need to have a local script inside of every player. So to do this, we need to hover over the starter player and we need to click the plus button on the starter player scripts and add in a local script. And then we could get rid of this and get started. And now here we're going to do the same sort of thing with referencing the players as well as the replicated storage and the remote event inside of there so we can copy paste it over. But since this is going on the client, so it's only for each player that joins the game, I'm going to reference the local player and this is going to be equal to players.local player. And if this is confusing, almost imagine it as, as seeing through your eyes instead of looking from the server. So the local player, this is going to be specific to you. So if you do something involving the local player, you're only going to see this on your screen or it's only going to affect you. So when anything happens in here, it, it's not going to affect anyone else unless it's talking to something on the server. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write another event. So I'm going to say freecam.onClientEvent colon connect, and then I'm going to connect it to another function. So whenever the freecam remote event is fired to the client, it's going to run another function. So now if I go on over to another line, I'm going to say ends the on client event function. And I'm going to create a few more variables so that we can locate the freecam GUI, which is what allows people to use freecam. So I'm going to say local player GUI is equal to player, which is the local player, wait for child, and then player GUI. And the next time I play this, I'll show you where this is located, just so you can get an idea of why we are doing this. So now I'm going to go to the next line. I'm going to say local camera, just because we already have free cam named up here. So I'm just going to name this one someone else is equal to player GUI. So we're going to be looking through the player GUI. Find first child free cam. So we are going to be looking for something inside of the player's player GUI folder that is called free cam because that's what's again, that's what's allowing people to use this. So now I'm going to say is if camera so if the script finds something inside of the players player gui folder then we're going to make something happen so then i'm going to say camera colon destroy and i'm going to put these parentheses at the end add an end here and this will end the if camera then statement so now what this is going to do in total is that in the main script, it's going to run functions whenever someone joins the game or whenever their character loads in. So this includes when they respawn. It's going to fire the remote event to the player's client. And when that happens, this is going to be listening for when that event happens or when it's fired. It's going to run another function and then it's going to check if there is something called free cam inside of the player's player GUI. And if that's the case, then it's going to get rid of it so it cannot be used. So now if I go in here and I join the game and I go on over into the player's service over here, I open up my character. As you can see here, this is the local player. This is the player GUI that we were looking for in the local script over here, the player GUI. And inside, you'll notice that we do not have the free cam GUI. And you can't see me right now, but I am clicking Shift and P. And just to show you really quick, if I go over here and I disable both of these scripts and I hit play again, what's going to happen is that I will be able to use free cam. And if I go on over into the player service once again and I check the player GUI, it is right here. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section below. I would also love for additional tutorial ideas if you guys have anything in mind. As now after uh, after my break for a couple of days that I just took following the release of my Roblox uh, history video for episode one that I will have as a card at the top right of the screen if you would like to give it a look. I am now looking to get back into taking more of your guys' ideas and making them into tutorials, so please be sure to let me know. And anyway, hope that you guys have a great rest of your day, stay safe out there, and I will see you later. Bye bye